only six Nigerians signed the amalgamation document in 1914. Igbos were not represented. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Only six Nigerians signed the amalgamation document. The location of the amalgamation was in Zungeru, Niger State, which was the capital of the British Protectorate of Northern Nigeria from 1902 to 1916. Now the news in detail. Many Nigerians have asked if there were parcels from the Southern and Northern Protectorate that partook in the Declaration of Nigeria or that the British on their own signed the document in the absence of people involved. Southern and Northern Protectorates were joined to form Nigeria in 1914. By then, the nationalists we know of now, we are still little to know what happened. Namdia Zikiwe was only 10 years old. Amai Dubelo was 4 years old. Obafemi Awolowo was 5 years then. These forces concerned individuals to ask which Nigerian signed the amalgamation document. It has been revealed that there were only 28 involved in the amalgamation of the South and the North Protectorate. Out of the 28, only 6 were Nigerians. The rest were all British citizens. Lord Luga, the first Governor General, led the amalgamation. He was the one who proposed it first, and the final signature was his. The six Nigerians are His Royal Highness, Maitorari Sakin Musulumi and Sultan of Sokoto. Second, Osman Dan Maje, who later became Emmy of Kanu. Third, Sakitoi Ajasa, a lawyer. Fourth, His Royal Highness, Olodu, Olodu Bolu, a laughing of Oyo. Fifth, his Royal Highness Henshaw Obong of Calabar. Sixth, Abubakar Shehu of Bronu. These were the Nigerians present at the amalgamation. They were there ceremoniously. No Igbo man was present in the amalgamation of Nigeria, even though the Igbos had powerful kings like Diobi Okosi of Anicha, Ezenri of Balike, among others. The reason is not far-fetched. It is thought that the Igbos fought strongly against the British rule and they were never in support of the systems. Lagos colony was also against the amalgamation as at then. The British were more comfortable and had better relationship with Fulani and Northerners. The British perhaps ended over leadership roles to Northerners. So, the saying that Northerners want to always rule Nigeria did not just start today. It was positioned so by British. The location of the amalgamation was in Zungero, Niger State. That was the capital of the British Protectorate of Northern Nigeria from 1902 until 1916. Ha! Man, if I tell you that I'm not pained now, that history was crapped out from our educational system, I will tell you that I am a liar. I am, it is so painful. There are a lot of things that, you know, our present generation do not know. That would have been made open in history class. Sincerity, sincerely. So that you don't just start talking from a point of, you know, sentiment. You will have first hand information. Unfortunately, till date, of course, one would know why history was scrapped. What is really, I mean, I just wish they can bring it back. Oh, a lot of things. Some Nigerians who are, be, who are always being sentiment, sentimental, knowingly or knowingly. It is because of the fact that we did not meet history. There is no recorded, you know, event of, uh, event, I mean, recorded past event. Unlike, in you know, other nations, they have their history. I do not know why in Nigeria there is nothing to be or that seems like history. It is very painful. Very, very painful. Now, going back to this, only six people, you know, we are present. And those six people... I do not even know what they were told. I do not know what they were told. I do not know how they were brainwashed. Let me put it that way. I do not know what they were told that even made them to come together. Now, only six people. Only six people. Only six people. And of course, the six people, the northern was represented. The south-south was represented. The... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> The Southwest was represented. The only people not represented was the Southeast. Which means that it is not today that these people have been saying we do not want. 
if you go down history. This, you do not want, we do not want, and we do not want, did not start today. It started from, from a very long time ago. That is what it is glaring. That is what is glaring. Except I stand to be corrected, like I said. History was not made available for us to, to, to study and know what and what exactly happened. So, we are not sentimental in our opinions. These people have been against coming together to form this nation, Nigeria, from the onset. It is said that, yes, it is said. It is said that the evils now, they were against the British rule strongly. In fact, they were strongly against it. They opposed it in every way they can. And this is, maybe for these reasons now, like I said, I stand to be corrected. Maybe for these reasons, that was why they were not represented. People will come now and say, oh, the South, South, I mean the Calabar represent, this Calabar does not represent, so, oh, hey, hey, it's just like you coming now to say eh, South is Calabar. Calabar is not part of Southeastern states, of course. Every one of us knows that. The Southeastern region is made up of five states. The Emo state, the Anambra state, the Bonyi state, the Abia state, and the Nugu. These places are referred to as the Southeast region. Now, these people were not represented. And of course, the reason is glaring. It is because they objected the British rule vehemently, as in they were very stubborn. They did not even want it at all. Why is what we do not know. Like I said, oh, oh, if only history will be brought back to our educational system. A lot of things will be known. A lot of, you know, you, you, you might even see that what, whatever you have been believing from <laughs> for a very long time is a lie because you now see it clearly as it is written and it, as it happened. Unfortunately, history has been scrapped. Reasons for scrapping it, I do not know and I cannot say. They might say, oh, I do not know, but me, I do not understand why in the first place it was scrapped because if it is still available, I tell you, I am one of the few people or I am one of the good number of people that will go back so that we have first-hand information about this. So, back to the news. The truth is, these people have always not been in support of One Nigeria. They have wanted to stay on their own. So, they should just go back to history. These people do not support it. Can What can be done to allow these people, you know, breathe down and calm down? These people are still agitating for just three things. I keep saying justice, equity, and fairness. If these things are not present, these people will continue to agitate. And I do not know why <laughs> these, the Northerners, I mean, yes, the Northerners, the British handed authorities over to them. Maybe that is why they are all clamoring and thinking Nigeria is their personal property. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.